Welcome. My name's Kathy A, and today I thought I'd join some of my friends here on YouTube for a tag that's going around called My Beauty Workhorses. And these are our products and things that we use every day. We probably don't even think about them too much, but they're awfully um, valuable to us as beauty tools, and they can really make or break how we look during the day. So I thought I would share a few things with you. I probably should start off with one of the most important things for me personally. So this is my makeup mirror and it has two sides. It has a really detailed <laughs> eight by size and it has a regular side. So I usually do my makeup in the regular side but I never leave the house before I look in the eight by side. And I think it's really important that you um, always check in a very magnifying mirror uh, before you leave the house. Now, if you don't have a two-sided mirror, you can buy these little 10 by mirrors in the drugstore and you can just look that way. And it can really help you, especially around your eye makeup for mascara, sometimes it's a little dots of mascara or eyeshadow powder underneath your eyes. You can also check in, you know, all your little deep lines to see if the makeup has creased in there or underneath your eyes to get the concealer. Um, you can see if your, your eyebrow pencil looks a little unnatural. And these little mirrors are so handy and they, you know, you can get them right at like the Dollar Tree or a CVS or, a, a, you know, a drugstore chemist shop. You can find these. And I think they're really invaluable. Get the 10 by, and I know it's scary. You're looking at your DNA pretty much in this, but it really makes a difference. Before you leave, you can see the eye yuck in your eyes. You can see along the edge, the slime along the edge of your mouth, um, underneath creases, underneath creases. Uh, if you have any unevenness here, you can see if there's makeup stuck in your hair. I mean, there's all kinds of things that this can really correct. So. Um, out of the two, I prefer the double-sided makeup mirror because it's got a lighting to it. But if you can't, this is a great alternative and just kind of look in there to make sure, you know, like a lot of times, like I'm wearing false lashes today, the inside will work its way and poke up, which, you know, false lashes are awful sometimes if you don't get them glued out correctly. They, they pop up on the inside and that's like so miserable and you don't even notice it because they feel unnatural anyway when you're out you don't know that they're also sticking up and everybody can see that you're wearing false lashes and they're sticking up funny so I always carry one of these around and I think it's a great idea the next work cost item is q-tips there is like just for cleaning under the eye for getting the eye yuck out of the corner uh, for you know helping to smooth out your makeup and even apply eyeshadow if you just need to tap a little bit of eyeshadow in the center you can use these in a pinch so I think q-tips are like one of the most valuable tools in your whole makeup arsenal and I think that these can perform such a I might even do a video, I think, I'm just doing my whole face of makeup with a Q-tip. I <laughs> think it might be fun. <laughs> so, in that same vein, this is a magnifier. <laughs> and you can look at um, the directions, you can read all kinds of things with the magnifier. I think that it's good to have one in your um, makeup area and actually in the bathroom when you've got a new uh, skin product you can read the directions because you know we don't always have our glasses on especially in the shower <laughs> can put this on in the shower so we can read you know okay uh, this says to brush your teeth okay okay I got it there but I think having um, a magnifying glass and this has a magnifier and a four times magnifier as well so it's it's a really good product um, and you can find these I've got I've got everything I'm talking about today I've listed down um, a lot of it's from Amazon or Walmart very easy to find um, 
The next product is the toothpaste. Uh, this is Dr. Bronner's, and you can find this right at um, Walmart, I think. It's a very minty, breath freshening, whitening toothpaste. And I have 62 year old teeth, and I don't like to use whiteners um, per se because I think they do make your teeth transparent over time. They can damage the enamel on your teeth. Um, it's kind of the unsung tragedy of uh, teeth whiteners. If you're using those strips a lot and everything, you're going to notice your teeth might be a little more sensitive. Um, there was an episode, I think it was NCIS, where they talked about teeth brighteners because one of the corpses they found had a, a transparent tooth. The guy just plucked it right out of this guy's head and he said, look at this. This transparent, this is a whitener addict. You know, he just couldn't stop whitening his teeth. But it can damage your enamel and it is banned in Europe probably because of that. So in lieu of that, um, I do use this and I think it works really well. This is a peppermint. It's not gacky like a lot of natural toothpaste can taste kind of gacky. This is really fresh and it feels like it's doing something and I think it helps keep my teeth clean. Um, not necessarily bright white, but clean. And I think that I, I'm happy with that. I, I can deal with that. So. I'm not in the movies, you know. Well, I, I am on YouTube, but I mean, I'm not in the movies. So anyway, this is the peppermint all-in-one toothpaste. I believe it comes in a couple of varieties. There's a cinnamon, maybe. There might be a, a spearmint or a winter, winter fresh. I'm not sure, but the peppermint is good. I can attest to that. These are, well, they call them twinkle razors. And what they are, um, this is just a safety feature. It's a very rough edged razor blade and you're supposed to kind of go along the edge and get some of those gnarly postmenopausal facial hairs that you, I'm growing a beard, okay, I'm growing a beard and a mustache. So these things are good for face shaving like that. Now if you really want to go full sash, as we used to say in valley days, um, you can use an actual razor. And there are some people that shave their whole faces. They go down the whole end because they get the peach fuzz off and then their makeup goes on nice and smooth. I'm one of those people in the camp that's a little suspicious of that. I'm like, it's gonna come back all even and it's gonna feel like a beard and I'm female and I don't wanna have a beard. So um, I'm still going with these, but I have in a pinch used this. And I think that as long as you're very careful, it's okay. It's okay. A lot of people are face shaving now, and so I think that these things are workhorses in that area. They originally were made for underneath the brow, or above the brow, or between the brow, and it does, you know, help a lot. Again, you have to be careful when you have metal around your eyes, and make sure you always disinfect these with alcohol after you use them. Nothing worse than spreading bacteria around, or especially around your eyes. Now this is an odd choice. This is super glue. <laughs> Why would I ever use super glue? Not for my eyelashes, no. What it is is, you know, the brushes are often attached with a cheap glue uh, to the wooden handle. Right around here, there's like a glued area. And if you wash your brushes as often as I do, a lot of times, especially in hot water, the water will run down the length here and loosen up the glue down here and this comes off. So I use, very carefully, I use super glue and I put it on the ferrule and on the, on the wand and I hold them together and it holds it really well. There's no need to throw away a brush just because it's broken in half. You can do it with two. I just repaired this one which is from my Amazon collection. This is the Stark, House Stark. <laughs> I'm still a Game of Thrones person. God, I miss that show. Um, yeah, this was a, one of my favorite brushes from this cheap set from Amazon that had all Stark and uh, all the sigils from all of the houses on, on their brushes. And I happen to like this brush itself, but I didn't like all the brushes that some of the sigils were on. But I kept the sigils. And I have the Monopoly game, too. Anyway, it, it worked really well. I just you know, reattached it here with the super glue and it's not moving now. So don't throw away any brushes. Use some super glue and just, just take a day, feel how loose any of your ferrules are, yank them off, put the super glue on, put them back on and you've got them solid. 
This may seem like a very simple thing, but these little puff, puff applicators, you can put powder on, you can put blush on, you can scrape away things, you can straighten out your face makeup so easily with these. And I wash these, I do. I put some uh, soap on them, I scrub them over my brush cleaner pad, and I, I wring all of the water out of them, and I let them dry and they come up as good as new. Okay, if you've used a powder sponge like this, don't leave it in your makeup counter and pick it up and use it again. You're growing bacteria here because anything that was on your face mixed with the makeup onto this is growing bacteria. And I, I mean, I don't wanna gross you out, but this can be this. You, you can clean them. So I think that's a great idea. For tweezers, I only use these and they're a tweezer man. I use the little ones. I have hot pink so I can find them. And I think hot pink is, um, it's a great color to have because you can always find them. So that's why I get that color. Uh, they really grab onto, you know, whatever you're trying to pluck out and yanks it out in one go. A lot of cheap tweezers keep missing. You keep putting it on there and it keeps missing. It won't, won't grab onto it. And I think it's worth the extra money to buy the tweezer man. So I have two of them here because I lost one. <laughs> I found it when I was moving my stuff around reorganizing my apartment here. So tweezer man tweezers. I have the slant tip, flat slant tip. Uh, absolutely amazing. When I'm doing my makeup, I don't want my hair in the way. And so I have these clips and they're really great. They come in different sizes, but basically one size is, one part of it is like a little clip and the other part is a silicone covered topping. So if you want to pull it out while you're putting your makeup on, this silicone topping will not make a ridge in your hair. And I like that. I think it's it's a nice uh, thing. You can get these on Amazon. You can get them, you know, in any place that in the hair department. I think they're really great and the bigger ones are really cool. You can see there's like a nice nice big clip there so you can get a nice big old hunk of hair move it up out of the way and then you can put your makeup on it and release it and know that it hasn't screwed up your hairstyle or made your bangs have a ridge so those hair clips are just wonderful this is called the color swatch and the original one um, this is the original one actually and it's a very dense and thick uh, sponge like material and the premise of this is that when you put an eyeshadow on, you can take the brush, rub it across this, and it removes the excess shadow from the brush, and you can go back into something else and use a different color, hence color switch. Now they do have cheaper versions, like in TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and even in like Dollar Tree or Family Dollar, you will see one that's got slightly bigger, and you can see they are slightly different. This is the original, which is very, very finely done, and then this one's a little harsher. This feels a little harsher. Both of them work equally. I like to support the originator of this, um, but yeah, I do use this one, and it works really well. You can also use those hair buns that they have in Dollar Tree that are made out of what looks like this material, and you can, you can swipe them off there, but I think changing that helps save using your, if you don't have a lot of brushes to use or if you're on vacation, this is a great way to reuse a brush without dragging that awful color into the next shade place that you want to add a new shade to. This is a double-edged sharpener from Ulta. This is their own brand and I know Sally Beauty Supply has their own brand that's good as well. Um, one has a slightly larger hole, one's a smaller hole. These are imperative for lip pencils, eye pencils, brow pencils. Really, really works well. And I clean these off. Uh, this one is dirty right now. It's in my dirty bin right now. <laughs> but I clean these off and wash these as well. And I use a Q-tip, of course, to get the stuff that's stuck on the edge of the, of the razor part.
this is Topic and these are hair fibers and what these are are they're semi-magnetic I think but this is the light brown shade and I think you can see it here yes you can see it here these are the light brown so you put this right in here you just shake it right on to your part especially after a shower when your scalp's all pink or shiny this dulls down your scalp and makes it less noticeable and makes your hair blend much better. Um, this is the light brown, so if you are a medium to dark blonde person, you're going to love this. The really light shade, which they call blonde, is really only if you have white hair or very, very light blonde platinum hair. It's not for people who have medium to dark blonde hair. Go with the light brown. And yes, it'll be slightly darker in your part, but it'll look more natural. I love this. I think this is one of the greatest uh, hair products out there. And I use it every day when I'm using my normal hair. You know, I use different hair different days, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> and so uh, when I'm using my real hair, I use this every day. And speaking of every day, Lumi. Lumi is a deodorant. A lot of times you've probably seen their ads. They're kind of cute. They're little ads for um, Lumi. <laughs> they have the lady that they pull out of the sewer and she still smells funny. And the, It's a cute little song and dance thing she does, but this stuff is nice. It was um, formulated by uh, an OBGYN for her patients to use in the nether regions. It is a bacterial killer, basically. So where you put it kills the bacteria that causes aroma. So you can use it under your bra line, you can use it under your arms, you can use it in the nether regions, between your legs, whatever, and on your feet. And it, it kills the bacteria that causes the smells. So it's a great product. And my original review of this uh, was seen by Lumi and I complained that there were only a few scents to this and they all smelled like the backyard garden you know because it was spruce smell and pine smell and you know the jasmine smell the lavender was too strong so I said I wish they I sure wish they had more scents and sure enough they have just come out with a citrus scent and I'm like oh wow you know they've got new scents I think they've got a coconut and a citrus and a lime or something like that so have a look at Lumi because I think they're really good I don't get any commission I'm not connected to them they didn't send me any free product they said they don't work with um, youtubers yet so they don't work with youtubers so there's no into it I'm really just this is just out of love to help you out and I tell you you can look as beautiful as you want, but if you're smelling <laughs> and it ain't a good smell, <laughs> so this is great. And I really prefer that you would use something natural because aluminum chlorhydrate is linked to cancer. And most of the deodorants that are in the market um, have carcinogenic properties to them. And I don't want you getting cancer, okay? If you have cancer, stop using your deodorant. All right, that's all I'm going to say. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, but I've read this, that the ingredients in regular deodorants are not good for you. So, anyway, Lumi doesn't have any of those. It has only good stuff. So, um, for skin, I think any beauty regimen has to have good skin care underneath or it's going to look crappy. And when I was first starting in YouTube, I was reviewing all these foundations and I was saying, oh, this is crappy, this is awful, this is terrible. And what I wasn't realizing was that the foundations were just fine. My skin was crappy, terrible. <laughs> My skin care was terrible. So this is called Sex Appeal. And uh, I know it's an awful name. It's a peeling kind of thing and it's in a spray. And what it is, is you, you, I block my eyes, I spray it all over my face, and then I wipe down. And as you wipe down, it gathers all the upper layer of skin that did not slough off naturally on its own. As you get older, your skin doesn't do that as, as well. And every 30 days, 28 to 30 days, your skin releases that upper layer. And the fresh skin comes through. 
well, there's patches, especially on older ladies, because we don't have all the juices flowing or whatever it is that makes that sloughing happen. So we need a little help. And this is great. A couple times a week is all you need. Um, it sloughs off all of the all of the junk on your face. Just rinse your face after and put your serum, your moisturizer, whatever it is your, your routine is. But add something like this to your routine. Add they have exfoliant powders too. Don't use anything with nut shells or thick kernels, anything that's very coarse and gritty because that can really hurt you. Um, I use Mizone from Amazon also. It's a um, Swiss apple um, acid that's in there and that also does something similar to this. But this is the best and this is what a lot of makeup artists use. It is back in stock so um, I will link it below and again I do not get commission and I'm not connected to them but I really like this. Sonia Roselli Sex Appeal. Now this is the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum and what this does is, um, I'm just going to put it here. Just take a little bit of it and just zhuzh through your hair just a little bit and you are going to see such shine um, and it's also like humidity resistant it smells nice this one is a shine serum that also helps with strengthening your hair so same idea they both are oils that when you put them into your hair it looks fabulous it looks shiny um, it looks healthy it looks alive and I think they have been game changers for me. Olaplex, this has been the biggest thing that I have added to my routine. Um, the shampoo, not so much, the conditioner, I love it, and the hair treatment, uh, number three, I love as well. So three and five are the numbers you might want to remember in Olaplex. They do sell a kit where you can try all of them, but this stuff really does make your hair look better and feel better, and over time, it really looks nice and I mean I saw it with my own eyes I had really ratty looking hair and it just got better and better as I was using this it is amazing Olaplex and this is why a lot of the um, youtubers are talking about it because it actually really does work and it's just obvious works from the first time you use it works so um, this is the number five conditioner I recommend you try this you can use whatever shampoo you want but I would follow it with this with a moisturizer uh, this is number five, the moisturizer. And I would just put a dollop in my hand, rush, rush it all through my hair, I let it sit there for three minutes, so I just work on my face, do my sex appeal thing, you know. All, I do all the other stuff, and then I come back to it and I'll rinse it out. But I give it at least two to three minutes before I rinse it out. So, Olaplex, and this is number five, the conditioner. So since you're looking at my nails, <laughs> um, this is called Color Street and these are, this is nail stuff for people who aren't very good with nails or when they paint their nails and then they start making dinner or doing their hair or zipping up their clothes or whatever and they screw up their nails. It is so frustrating. You're not able to get to a salon to have it done professionally. This is your next best thing. They range in price from like $11 to $16 for a set of 16. You can use them for a mani and a pedi, one set, or you can use them um, two times. And they last a long time. I did a demo video, which I'll link at the end, uh, with my friend Angela, and she um, did my hands. And I had those at least a week and then I had to take them off because I'm going on job interviews and stuff now and I don't want to have like purple glitter nails. <laughs> I'm trying to look all staid and professional, you know, office manager type of stuff. So, um, but these, I got, you know, these from her and these are, this is a pretty light purple. For some reason I'm, I'm in this purple mode. I don't know. Um, Color Street is the name of it and I'll put the link to her. Uh, you can just contact her and she can send you out a set. Um, very, very inexpensive. I think this is a great concept. It's actually nail polish. It's not a press-on nail. It's nail polish. And you literally peel it off, you press it on, and then you, you just pull off the excess and you've got nail polish. Like It looks like five coats of nail polish on your nail. And it lasts all week. It's absolutely fabulous. And you, I mean, they have designs, they have different glitters, and 
it's fabulous. So Collar Street is the new way to do nails and I feel really hip because I know about this and now you're hip because you know about this. Okay, eyebrows. Those of you who are over 50, you know what I'm talking about. Your eyebrows have these white hairs coming through or gray hairs coming through and there's not really brow products that do a good job with this because they just wash off at the end of the day. So, the man, the man. This is a five minute thing. I take my trusty Q-tip, I just pour a little, there's two parts to this as a developer, and then there's the uh, color. I just put a little dot of each one, even amounts, I'm, I mix them together with a Q-tip and I put them on my eyebrows. I let them sit for five minutes. I wipe them off with a cotton ball with water and then I wash the whole area with soap and water. It is, and this, this thing will last me for six months because I do it once a month. Um, it will last me six months because I don't use the whole container of developer. I don't use the whole container of color. So it is a great product. I think it runs around six, seven dollars, but it'll last you for quite a while. You only need a little bit, a little dab will do ya on your eyebrows. But it colors evenly, and this is a really good color if you are medium to light brown, uh, light blonde, this is a great color. And you can go darker with this if you have darker brows, of course, but um, this is a hard shade to get. So. Uh, you can find this in Ulta, Walmart, you know, anywhere where they sell hair color. They usually have this separately in with the men's stuff. I don't know why, um, but check the men's section and you'll see it. And I like this particular color for me. Um, and this is slightly lighter than this because I use pencil on this today, but slightly lighter than my eyebrows are today. This is great though. For regular hair color, I have been using this cheapy stuff. This is like the $4.99 Revlon Color Silk. That's what I've been using for my base shade. And then I've been using the darker shade and just painting the darker shade stripes in to make stripes. And I have really nice, my regular hair has really nice variegated look to it like a professional salon did it. And you can do it with this and then a shade of the light brown. You can mix the two. So I do the base shade of this, you can do the light brown. You can even go much lighter and do a couple of light stripes as well. So you can get that, you know, three-dimensional look to your hair uh, while we're waiting on salon appointments. This is great and it's cheap. It'll cost you 15 bucks for three colors in your hair. So I think it's great. Another side of beauty we don't talk about, but in the tub, in the bathtub. This is magnesium flakes. It's also known as pure Epsom salt. It's a soaking solution. You can either soak just your feet in it or your whole body. Um, nothing like magnesium to help you out. If you get leg cramps at night, if you have um, tired, if you're tired, magnesium is wonderful. And I know that um, this kind of a thing, you just, I, I just pour a couple of cups into the bath and it just just soak for you know five minutes in the tub it's very relaxing um, you can always you know have a, a cold beverage or a glass of wine or whatever while you're soaking and you will feel a hundred percent better a hundred percent better so this is a very inexpensive brand and it's called epsom salt it's something that it's an old school thing people used to just soak their feet in it when they came home and they were tired um, and that's nice too. You can use some cool water with a cup of this in it, soak your feet in it, and they feel great. But I have leg cramps at night, and so I take a bath in this. Usually once a week I'll have a bath in this, and this is my, this, this size will probably cost you about six, seven dollars. CeraVe has been selling out everywhere, and either they're not re restocking right now because of the pandemic thing, or what, but I was forced to buy the soap and I thought, wow, this is great in the shower with um, either a puff or a, a face cloth or flannel as you call it in the UK. This CeraVe soap, this is the hydrating face wash in a soap form and it works just as well as the hydrating face wash and I love it. This is really good if you have medium to dry skin 
or really dry skin, this is a great alternative. Um, and also, if you're using a face cloth on your face with this, you're getting that additional exfoliation. If you don't have any of the other exfoliators, this is a great way to exfoliate. I mean, my mom had wonderful skin, and she she never used anything special. She, she used ivory soap and a face cloth, you know, and she'd pat down her skin after she rinsed it off and go. You know, that was her beauty routine. <laughs> a red lipstick that had red dye number three in it. <laughs> This was sent to me by a lovely um, subscriber, and I use this every day, every day. This is a Revlon. Um, this is a hot, dry, blow dry brush, and air comes out of this. So when you're um, drying your hair, it polishes your hair, and it dries it, and it shapes it. And you get, like, I get this Doris Day look from it with my hair, but it's just so nice. It makes your, it's like a professional blowout when you do this. If you stick your head upside down and you use this to dry your hair by, like, brushing your hair slowly, it just blows out your hair and gives you tons of volume and shine. It's just a wonderful thing. I'm so grateful to her for sending this to me. I take a lot of vitamins. I had a gastric bypass surgery back in 2002, so I have to take a lot of extra vitamins to get enough, if you know what I mean. So I have, this is called Fusion, and this is a multivitamin. Uh, I take that, it's got a little bit of everything in it. I take my elderberry gummies. Uh, these are uh, elderberry extracts, supposed to be really good for uh, strengthening your immune system. Uh, warding off viruses. <sighs> yeah. This is uh, vitamin D. I take two of these every day, vitamin D3. A doctor that talks about vitamin D levels in all of the patients who had a hard time with COVID-19 um, that across the board were low in vitamin D. So if you haven't had your vitamin D levels checked, you might want to for some people. With me, I don't absorb it correctly so um, it's okay for me to take two instead of one. This is the Hair Skin Nails Biotin which um, I really think has made a difference in my skin, hair, and my nails which used to be very striped and thin and brittle and they're a little bit stronger. Uh, extra vitamin C and I use the chewable version or the gummy version of these vitamins because I can't swallow pills. And also, too, they're not as soluble as uh, the chewables. Some of them don't. So I actually chew this one. This is an iron, a 27 milligram iron. Um, I move it in with the, with the gummy so it gets mixed in with that so I don't get the yuck flavor of chewing into a real vitamin. This is yogurt and calcium gummies. I take these every morning. It's like going to a candy store. And then this is my apple cider vinegar gummies with the mother. Um, apple cider vinegar is like the greatest thing in the world. Uh, probiotic gummy to help put positive bacteria in, in my body to get rid of the negative bacteria that tries to fight. And the very last thing is magnesium. And this is a, a 200 milligram magnesium because magnesium helps me with my leg cramps situation. If you're not taking a multivitamin, you might want to consider it because we're not getting a lot of this stuff from our food. And, I mean, when was the last time you had elderberry? Um, so, I do recommend vitamins. I think they're really good. One of the other workhorse uh, products I have is uh, these plastic carrier trays. I have all my makeup in here. Uh, this is, I think, 9 by 11 size but I have everything divided where it's easy, I can see it, it's easily trackable in the morning. And, and then I bought a second one and I took out the center drawer and I put that on top so that I have more room to hold my lipsticks and then I have an extra drawer on top to hold uh, lipstick pencils and glosses. So this is really nice and it has a couple drawers here where I have my brow products and concealers in here. So I think these are a great way to store your makeup. It keeps it all together. You can move it around. And I think it neatly keeps it out of the way. Um, I also use, 
containers for like this is from the Dollar Tree and it has three compartments. I have brushes in each one of the compartments and then this one is just a you know a regular brush holder. But I think it's good to have your brushes and things in a holder. Now this one is unusual because I got this in um, the flower section of a grocery store I worked at and it is a vase. It's a vase. So, and I put all my, um, these are all my powder puff things and all my beauty sponges. So I just think it's a nice, you know, feminine sort of way to store those. And I think those are great workhorses. You can gather things. Now this is a, um, a flat mixing tray. And what you do is you can pour your uh, moisturizer in and then pour some drops, foundation drops on it. And you can get um, a nice mixture there. You can mix two foundation shades together or you can even mix two lipstick shades together and put them on with the brush. Uh, these things are really great. This comes with the Ulta uh, shade adjusting set, which is a light, a very light uh, color and a dark color and you can add those to your foundation to lighten or darken it and you can pour like a drop or two in there pour your foundation mix it together on this but I, I think the tray itself is worth getting the kit for because uh, it's washable um, it's easy to use and it's a great idea it's a good workhorse those were my workhorse makeup and beauty products I hope that's been helpful for you. I've listed everything below that I talked about today. I know I talked your ear off. Um, anyway, that's all for today. I will see you in the next video. I hope you consider subscribing to my channel. It's free. I am also now on Patreon, um, and you can see a Patreon link in my description bar. That's if you want to help me out with purchasing products to review to help support my channel because right now I am unemployed and I'm working on getting employed right now. I've got something in the works and uh, hopefully I'll have better news for you on that shorter. But in the meantime, everybody have a wonderful week. Be safe and have a beautiful day. Take care. Toodles.